Welcome back YouTube, this is Two Point Show, coming back at you with more Idle Heroes content. Today we are on the Junior account, and, you know, I just figured we haven't been on here in forever. So, like officially, so we might as well, and I'll kind of show you what's new, and I have made sure not to do much, um, but, you know, quick little glance, we have 1,365 scrolls free to play which is not too bad we got 10k gems which is awesome um celestial island still going strong i suppose we're on a nine day cruise or a nine star cruise today so that means we're gonna have some food for sure and we've got more in the bag but as you can see basically you know our team for the most part is the same um, and super early game, one of the best ways to win these is with Mims. Um, because again, most people don't have like insane teams. And with, you know, Garuda kind of hitting one person, so on and so forth. Mim can nuke. And even if they're, you know, a little bit more experienced, they've got, you know, an actual team. If one of our guys die, Mim also goes off. So, I don't know. Just, just a little tip. If you guys are hurting on your um, your voyages, ooh, perfect scrolls. What is this one? Even better, more scrolls. I'll take it. Why not? Um, but I don't know. For the most part, I'm saving this account. I don't know what for, but I want to do something. You know, where it's like a super slow week, where people might not be building the new hero. Sometime after, you know, Chinese New Year might be the best time. Obviously, you know, I if I wanted to be competitive and smart about things, I would go for Chinese New Year or Christmas. However, you know, content and, you know, at that point, we might be able to just make someone E5 out the gate. And that is good for testing for, you know, many reasons. And... You know, it's accounts like these that I don't really mind if it's super far behind. I mean, look at what we got going on. Um, we do have a 9 star, though. So we, we got a little bit of food. Outside of that, I mean, we don't have anything immediate. We got Dantalion here, who, like, I would love to build him up. And I got the copies, but also, um, I'm thinking maybe just make 10 star food between him and Margaret. Um, something like that. Let's see. I mean, we could make Kathuga, we could make Karim, um, Karim's 9 star as well, but I would have to use <laughs> some things that I don't really want to, and I don't want to pull anything out this week, let's see, Let's usually easy food, and we got 9 star, field bait, um, bone carver, I guess we could use Walter, again, I like Walter, but I don't really plan on building any of these heroes that I have, but Lutz can make perfect 10 star food, um, and then here, what else, what else is going on? We've fail, always super easy food. Molassa. So we're one off of a 10 star, so it makes sense to build her. <clears throat> and then I, I guess fail, because she's one of the easiest ones, and she only caps out at 9 star. So yeah, so we, we got a lot of food, and yeah, we can already fuse up another one. But between all of this, it looks like we... We've got a lot of progress for the future. And the question is, where do we go? Who do we push? Because I could choose someone dumb like, I don't know, Karma or Aiden. But who wants to see that? I mean, that's so old. And I was thinking I was going to build Bloodblade because he's one of my favorite heroes. I have not gotten a single Bloodblade at all, and he hasn't been offered. Um, so it's kind of sad. As you can see here, I got a little bit of food one nine star and then i've got some random puppets um and then i think we have one or two chests in the bag but still we can potentially make one what is going on we could make one in abyss we can make one well i guess heart watcher although i'm not going to feed heart watcher <clears throat> so yeah abyss and um forest fortress my bad fortress and abyss we could make a potential nine star we have roy um, so we can make a 9 star and a 10 star, basically. We could E2 this guy, like, right now. I mean, we could use Roy, and then we could use the 9 star puppet, and then we're getting another one. 
Um, although, I don't think that that's the smartest choice to do. Uh, it would help in sea land, though, which I don't mind jumping in. Doing a little bit of sea land, just to show you that I'm kind of stuck. Um, but again, for the most part, this account is kind of just saving, and I'll buy scrolls every, I don't know, three or four days, but it is a free-to-play, so it's a lot harder to get scrolls and gems. Um, but, you know, for the most part, it kind of is what it is. Still, I'm at 13, almost 1400, which ain't bad at all. Artifacts are basically horrible. Um, but where should I go? What do you think I should do in the future? Like, I can definitely do, I don't want to say it quite a bit, but, you know, with the food in here, I can make some things happen. But the question is, do I want to? Do I need to? What do you guys want to see? Because that's half the reason why I started this specific account was save extra resources. Go on a crazy event that no one else is going on. Um, and again, ticks could be that event. But also next month, I feel like there's going to be even less and less just because it's getting closer and closer to Chinese New Year. It's getting closer to Christmas. And those are the two big events. You know, people usually pick Christmas or Chinese New Year and then anniversary to go crazy on. And, you know, on my main account, I'll probably do those as well. I'll probably cover both of those. But on this one, what should I go for? So I'm going to leave that open to you. And, um, you know, some computer guy is coming tomorrow. I don't know what I was about to say. But he's coming tomorrow. And that means this might be postponed for a little bit. I'm hoping that it won't be too long. Let's see. That looks good. We want to save those molasses. But anyways, so, you know, I'll have a little bit of time to think. And I'll have a little bit of time to um, kind of run it through myself but I would love to hear what you guys want and what you guys have to say because I mean at the end of the day that's what this channel is all about kind of helping you guys out and you guys help me out so you know honestly I I don't know I'm I'm, I'm having a blast but anyways guys um, yeah so Garuda I don't even care if she stays or goes obviously though we need heart watcher and block HP is not too bad. I'm kind of looking for a crit HP stone. Um, but in the meantime, Heart Watcher, Sigmund, they're just kind of good PvE heroes. Gru could come and go. I do like Gru, however. So if you guys want to see Gru E5, awesome. W we can do it. It'll take a while, but we can do it. Um, and then let's see. What else are we working on? We got a Delosium, which I guess is cool. But Garuda... For the most part, you know, I can I can live with or without. Um, also, I don't know. I'm just kind of pondering. Would making her super tanky with the runes power be better for Aspen Dungeon? We might have to test that out one of these days. Um, but, you know, also, since my internet will be out, that means maybe I might miss Aspen this week. At least recording it. Because, you know, you need an internet connection. On the phone, I'll probably log in, do all that jazz, but I won't, I won't uh, push forward if we can. That way we can record it all, talk about it, all that jazz. So again, sadly it gets postponed, but I definitely need new internet because it takes hours and hours to upload, and it is, it is very sad. Um, let's see again, HP, HP. Last time I said it, we got it very quick. Can we get a HP, HP stone? Eh, I mean, Gru, your eh, block would be not the worst. We are definitely... Okay, there we go. We are eating through our reserve. What is this dude's HP now? Oh, 411? 599. And he is five, five levels, five stars above him. That's kind of crazy. So anyways, let's jump into Sea Land. <clears throat> I don't think that those small critiques are going to make that big of a difference. Um... But either way, either way, you never know until you know. And, uh, yeah, sea land, it is. We need every little piece of um, advantage we can get. And uh, just like that, everything is maxed out, ready to go. 
The whole free-to-play grind is very, very slow, and for every single one of you that plays free-to-play, I feel honestly pretty sad for you. Um, as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers, you know, maybe, maybe a little bit more, but as soon as I start making a little bit on this, I would love to just buy monthly cards for people, like once a month. Just log into your account, give you a monthly card. I, I don't know, like, the free-to-play aspect, it's, it's sad, and it, like, again, if you can spend, the game just gets so much easier, in the sense of you can save so much more, and, again, it's like, you could just build so many better heroes. Oh my lord! So, we got nuked immediately. We might be at the stage where we start to need a Rosa, you know, just for a little bit of extra tanky, but also, I mean, you know, double Garuda is kind of needed from what I heard. Olivia does help with those big nukes on the main boss, which again, we don't really have too much of that. Um, I mean, we do have a few Olivias, but anyways, anyways, we don't even have to worry about Forest Sea Land, because what if... What if one of the new heroes that we want to go for is outside of that faction? So again, back to the big question. You guys saw my bag. You guys saw my heroes. What do you think I should do next? It could literally be anything because it's a recommendation. Doesn't mean I have to, but I want to hear from you guys. I've been saving and saving and saving. So anyways, drop those comments down below. And again, sorry if this came out a little bit later than expected, but I do appreciate each and every one of you. So anyways, guys, I will catch you all in the next one. My name is Two Point Joe. Thanks for supporting me, and consider subscribing if you're new here. Anyways, guys, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.